you feel the cold, dark embrace of death about to overcome you and your squad. Well, thankfully for you, Tiny Tina is here to save your lives with her new G Fuel flavor, Tiny Tina's High Sparkly Boom Magic, or High Rollin' Sparkly Boom Magic. What is up, everybody? My name is Michael Kayoshi 98 and I have not been more excited for a flavor than this one in a long time. This is a cherry vanilla flavor, and uh, I could not be more excited. I think cherry vanilla sounds amazing. I love cherry vanilla like Coke. I love cherry vanilla candy and stuff. I've seen stuff like that. But we are going to open this, and we are going to see this box. I see someone opened it, but maybe I did that. You don't know. So we're going to open this and I'm going to give you guys the reveal. Does that look good or what? All right. Let's get this out of here carefully. Pull out the extra wrapping so we can pull this out easier. Oh my gosh. I, oh, wow. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, so you as you can see, this is inspired by the new Tiny Tina's Wonderland video game, which is basically in the Borderlands universe, but it's Tiny Tina and D&D, &D, which that is amazing to me. So I find this really cool. And as you, let's get a closer view. As you can see, there's a bunch of, uh, D and D dice here, like your D eight, a D twenty, a D six or eight, and stuff like that. You got Tina right here, ready to roll for initiative, with her bunny costume. Love it, Tiny Tina's one. Not that. Then we got her also on the back here, riding her precious horse butt stallion. Which I no, I am not making a joke. That is a thing in the Borderlands universe. Look it up. Uh, but yeah, we got more Tiny Tina's Wonderland, G Fuel, she's got her book here, that's awesome. And then we have, we have Endurance, Reaction, Energy, and Focus. Alright, so let's open this. Okay. First off, we'll look at the shaker. Ooh! That is really cool. I have never seen a shaker this color before. So it is a see-throughish blue. You can kind of see that. I mean, not with the reflection really, but as you, uh, in my angle, this is completely see-through. This is awesome. The top is really cool. I like the the top here. This is very cool. We have Tina here with Tiny Tina's Wonderland, uh, G Fuel on the side here, and then we're going to open this. I'm assuming a blue insert? Yep. We got a, this reminds me of the one from the Swedish Knights one, maybe a little more of a teal blue. Oop. But yeah, this is, this, I don't think this is going to get used because I use, I use blender bottles just to try and keep it nice. But, uh, yeah, I like, I like the look of this shaker a lot. Okay, so we'll put this off to the side. Okay, uh, next, here's the tub itself. Ooh. All right, so here we are. Got the Gamma logo here of the G Fuel Company. Then we have the tub here, Tiny Tina's. High rolling, sparkly, boom, magic. Again, Wonderland's here on the top. Tina on the side. Whoa. The nutrition label is completely a different color. Normally, it's white so you can read it, but they kept it with the design, which is cool. I will like that. Um, 
What else we got here? Oh, and then we also got her on a dragon here. I f this is really awesome artwork. I will definitely say this is awesome. I mean, this is the 15 calorie version, 40 servings. Alrighty. And then, oh, here we are. The last thing, we have a Tiny Tina's Wonderland sticker. I really like this. I'm glad I was able to get these because, you know, sometimes they mess up and you don't, sometimes they forget to put it in there. But I got it, so I love this already very much. We'll put that back in there for now. And same with the shaker. And just to keep it nice. So we are going to open this tub now. What the heck? <laughs> so we're gonna put this off to the side. What the heck? <laughs> Technical difficulties, sorry. Okay. Put you there. Okay. All right, so we are gonna open this with our handy dandy knife or if we want to keep the theme, it can be my sword of destiny. Because I'm destined to open this. Whoop. Stop coming out of it like that. Okay. A little rough, I'll admit. But we're gonna, we still got it open. All right, peel off lid for you guys. Ooh, I smell the cherry, obviously, because this is cherry vanilla, but uh, it is definitely a sweeter smelling cherry, which is one thing I was really nervous about was that I'm a, I was afraid it was gonna be like a more medicine cherry but this smells more like a like a more real cherry so i'm excited about that and look at that my scoop is at the top my lucky day oh my gosh it was my lucky day i could not be more happy about that because normally i've had to use a knife or my hand to get it from like the bottom or something. And uh, thankfully I did not have to do that today. So I am very thankful of that. All right. Okay, again, it still, it smells like a good cherry, which I am excited about. By the way, this part here is for funneling into water bottles, but because I use blender bottles or like other like refillable bottles, I peel that off and I throw it away. All right, and then one other thing we're gonna do, just cause this is a new flavor, we're gonna take this tub, we're gonna shake this bad boy up, just to fluff up that powder, get the flavor out, and just so we don't get an overall huge amount when we first get this flavor made. Cause I wanna make sure I don't overdo it, Plus, I'm not going to be drinking this whole thing right now because I already had a serving today and coffee. So I'm just going to be tasting it while I keep this ready for tomorrow. Okay. Okay, let's open this now. Okay, that fluffed it up nice. And the silica gel packet or whatever that is on the side is on the side so we don't have to worry about scooping any of it but we're gonna take my blender bottle here and we're gonna stick with the theme of what i had for death and we are gonna mix it with liquid death mountain water no i'm not sponsored i just thought about doing it for the theme so i just thought this would be fun so we're gonna open this this is non-carbonated by the way so we're just pouring it in there All 
right. So that's in there, ready to stick with that. And then we're gonna take one full scoop of the Tiny Tina's High Rollin' Sparkly Boom Magic flavor and drop her in there. All right, so I did expect this kind of color. It is a, um, kind of looks like the same color as like the sour cherry, um, which is like a dark red. Um, maybe this flavor is a little bit of more pink in it. I don't see anything too crazy yet. So we're gonna close this bad boy up, put that in front so you guys can look at that because it's cool. I'm going to top this off, and then make sure this is closed, and then we're going to, say it with me, shake it till you make it! Alright, almost done. I shake it for about 30 seconds. And bam, the Tiny Tina's High Rollin' Sparkly Boom Magic G Fuel Flavor. Let's open this and give it a smell. Okay, smell wise, more cherry. And again, there is a little hint of something with the vanilla at the end. And um, I do like that. All right, everybody. What do we say? Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, first off, very good. That is a very good sweet cherry. It's not medicinal, which I was really nervous about, but this is a good sweet cherry. Kind of reminds me of the one in Black Ooze. Um, the vanilla, it is a very, it's very like, uh, it's more of an aftertaste than right there in the front. But I don't think that's a bad thing because I was really worried that this was also gonna be a really, really, like really sweet flavor, but no. The cherry's got just a tiny bit of tartness to it. And um, once I'll give it one more taste. Hmm, yeah. The vanilla is very light. It does get you though at the very end, but that's not a bad thing. This flavor, oh, this might be my new number one. I need to give it a little more time, taste it a little more. Uh, I might do an update video on it like a week later after just drinking it straight. Um, but this, as of taste, this gets a nine or maybe higher. Actually, 9.5 for the moment because Nemesis Tea is still no, is a 10 for me. Nemesis Tea, I could literally drink that literally all the time. But this, this is at least in my top three. I think this might have taken down Radioactive Lemonade. So, yeah. The Tiny Tina's High Rollin' Sparkly Boom Magic gets a 9.5 out of 10. And for those also wanting more description, it's a little cherry forward, it is, but it's not a, it's not a medicinal cherry. It is a very good sweet cherry. So um, don't have to worry about it tasting bad. I think this tastes really good. And I think I could definitely drink this uh, on the daily without being sick of it.
Yeah, it's very like, it's cherry Kool-Aid-ish. If uh, you've ever had that. It's very reminiscent of cherry Kool-Aid with a very last minute aftertaste of vanilla. I mean, I'm thankful it's not too strong because there are some things that are vanilla wise and cherry wise that are way too strong, medicinal or anything like that. This is good. I think this is one of the best cherry flavors I've ever had of G Fuel right behind Black Ooze because Black Ooze is a very natural, sweeter black cherry. It's not medicinal. I know I've said that a lot this video. You can put how much I put it in the description if you want. But yeah, this is a very good, very sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's just good. It's just right. So if you guys were afraid of this being medicinal or anything like that, no, it's not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.